guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be talking all about SPFs and SPFs that are really good for people of colour. I don't know if you guys have used SPF before but they're so important to just protect your skin from the sun. To be honest all I know about SPF cream is that there's two types of rays that it can protect against so there's UVB and UVA rays. UVB rays are kind of rays that cause sunburns um, which to be honest I don't get but I probably do suffer from UVB rays but I don't get sunburn. I don't know. If you're someone of colour, do you get sunburned? Because I've, ne I've never, ever, ever, even when I was younger and always in the sun, and I never used to wear SPF, I never used to get sunburned. So let me know if you are someone of colour and you got um, a sunburn still, because I don't know, I've never met anyone that has. And then, secondly, there's UVA rays, which is the more damaging one. It penetrates deeper into the skin, which can cause things like premature um, wrinkling, just overall skin damage really. So UVB and UVA rays are both ultraviolet rays and can both cause cancer, so that's why I'm super strict on SPF. But to be honest, the past few months, I haven't been really wearing SPF. I've just been so busy with work and just being lazy. So now my skin went funny, like I started to get more um, pigmentation and like my skin was drier. So I went out and got a bunch of SPF creams that I wanted to try out and I've been trying it out over like the past month even more than a month so i'm just going to show you guys which ones i've been liking and yeah i'm just going to show you because to be honest a lot of spf creams that i've tried before just give that white cast and i am not about that life so i found some really really good ones some high-end some really affordable so before i jump into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to alvina Armugam. so thank you so much for your comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment right so i think it's fair enough for me to mention the first one that i've used a lot and for a couple of years now and it's the body shop skin defense this has spf 50 it covers both protection so uva and uvb protection it's an antioxidant and anti anti dullness cream uh, 100% vegan, no mineral oil, suitable for sensitive skin. This cream I would recommend to anyone. Now they do have a bo uh, they have two sizes, but I always get the bigger one. And I don't know, is is it high end? Because I think it's around. Let me check. Right, so you can get 40 mil for 17 pounds, and then 60 mil for 21 pounds. But I always try to get it on student discounts because obviously my siblings are students still. But yeah, it's really good. I would consider this more of a high end, like for £21 to be honest, but it lasts me a really really long time and it's just so good because it just sinks into the skin and it doesn't like give any ashiness at all. I mean it's not good enough for me on its own, I do apply moisturiser on top to give that extra hydration because this is not hydrating enough for me. So I feel like for all skin types this would be really really good. This is like the consistency of it. and. Like at first it has a, like a white feel but it just goes away straight away so i have to say this is definitely one of my favorites and on it it says pa plus 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 i'm not really sure what that means but i know that the more pluses it has the more efficient it is the more efficient the protection is i think so yeah the more pluses you have on the bottle the better on to the second one which i've been using quite a lot it's the neutrogena hydro boost city shield hydrating lotion spf 25 now this is super affordable i get it on amazon for like i don't know five to ten pounds this one is hydrating enough for me to use on its own and this one again okay, uh this one's just spf 25 oh my god my neighbors are making so much noise but let's just ignore that um, it protects against pollution and har harmful UVB and UVA rays. So this one I can recommend for all skin types. It's hydrating enough for me because I have super dry skin and it's hydrating enough for me to just wear on its own some days. Um, now, to be honest, I if I know I'm going to be in the sun for a really long time, I'm going to go for SPF 50 and most of my SPFs are 50 anyway. This one is 25, but because like when I go to work, I'm barely, rarely in the sun. So I'm like on the train and then like I will go straight to work. So I'm not really in the sun. So in those days, on those days, I mostly wear SPF 25 if, you know, if I want to. So 
the higher the SPF, the, the longer protection period you have. People do seem to think that they don't need SPF during winter time, but you need it all the time. Those UVB, UVA rays be penetrating those clouds, your house, your brick wall. Trust me, they get into your skin some way. Okay, they're bloody ninjas, those rays. I don't know who's making all that noise. Who's making that noise? So yeah, I definitely recommend this, and I, I can only find this on Amazon, to be honest, but yeah really like this okay so the next one is one that i've been wanting to try for the longest time and it's the shiseido clear stick uv protector um it's transparent it's got spf 50 plus it's for face and body it's got very high protection water resistant so it's going to be a good product for when you're on holiday if you're swimming around and stuff so when you apply this one like there's nothing really going on I do tend to put a lot, like when I put SPF, I always, it's always better to put a really thick layer to get that protection. That is the best way and the right way to apply it is to put a really thick layer. Um, so yeah, I do like pack this on. But yeah, it's just really nice to like wear under your makeup. But I do put moisturiser on top. It's not hydrating enough on its own, weirdly enough. Now this costs £27. £27 for 15 grams but I feel like this will last me for a long time but to be honest it's not my favorite I did re I had really high hopes for this but it's not my favorite out of all my SPFs but yeah they do have a liquid version but I don't even think I'll get that one I don't know I don't it's not I feel like this is good for like all skin types but it has more of that it has more of like that oily slippery silicone texture in my opinion says it helps to minimize dark spots and wrinkles for a smooth and healthy complexion. There's not really much information about what rays it protects against. So yeah, this one just says UV protection. So I guess it covers both, but I can't confirm that. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I would say it's quite good if you want something that's quick. If you're on holiday, you want something that's water resistant and it doesn't make you ashy whatsoever. So, and it's also really easy to apply and you can use it under makeup or over it so if you want to reapply during the day you can do but yeah that's what I've been using lately but would I purchase it again I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't to be honest but I got it I use it and don't make me look ashy so and it protects my skin so the next one is the helio care advanced gel cream now this one has been recommended from two of my friends on instagram mia loves beauty and mia they both have the same name but <laughs> they're lovely lovely girls and you know i always like trust them when it comes to products so i went out and got this one it has a broad spectrum it's spf 50 with broad spectrum uvb uva protection this one's really nice to apply on its own i would consider this more high-end because it's around like 22 pounds for 50 mil but this one you may find that it's um recommended a lot by dermatologists so it's a really good spf and i would recommend this to anyone it's more of a heavier cream i would i, I think mia loves beauty has oily skin and she loves it i think she has oily skin i might be wrong but um i wouldn't recommend it for oily skin but then mia uses it it's more moisturizing it's heavier and it's heavier than the other creams i use to be honest but I can wear it on its own and it's 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 really nice. I'm just gonna apply it on this side. Just so that you guys can see, it smells really nice as well. But no, it smells like sweet berries. And I love that as well. But anyways, no ashiness. It's very nice, very nice, very fresh. It's definitely more moisturizing than my other ones, like I said, so yeah, I can use it on its own and I really, really love this one. So definitely one of my favorites out of all of them. Really recommend this, you get protection from both rays. Thumbs up. Next up, which is another one that I really, really, really did enjoy using and it's the Nux Paris Sun Protection Melting Cream High Protection. Anti-aging cellular protection helps prevent dark spots. There's so much description on this, but I prefer that than nothing at all. Right, now this one is going to give you protection um, for both UVA and UVB rays. It's SPF 50. Claims to uh, prevent dark spots, which is a thumbs up. So yeah, uh, you get... This one's around... I think it was like 
18 pounds for 50 ml so a bit more affordable than the um helio care one but again i still would compare consider this like between not really high end because the shiseido one is high end maybe this is between drugstore and high end there needs to be a middle ground here but i don't know it's really really nice i do like this one this one smells really nice as well But yeah, you're supposed to be applying so much SPF on your skin. This one also gives a really, really nice glow. It smells so nice. And yeah, no ashiness at all. It gives such a nice glow. So this one I, I like to wear under my makeup just on its own. It's super hydrating. And yeah, look. Look at that. Can you see that? This is just Shiseido and this is the NYX. It's so nice. So I definitely recommend it for normal to drier skin types but i don't know if you're oilier maybe it might not be the best it is quite oily but i like that because my skin is so dry um so yeah i've been really really liking this this is in my top three as well i, I really do enjoy it so the next one that i got is this uh, la roche posay cicaplast balm i wanted to try this because it was so affordable it was like five pounds it comes in a tube like this i can't say that this one's my favorite but it is affordable it's fragrance free so if you have sensitive skin you might like that restore soothes and anti marks protection so it says on here this is not a sun care product i guess this is maybe like an after sun treatment but i don't know it has spf in it i don't get it exposure to daily uv rays presents a risk of hyperpigmentation red or brown pigment marks so and then recent or old tattoos present a risk of damage so i don't know what this is but i've only used it like a couple of times it hasn't been my favorite but i'm still going to mention this in here because it is super affordable it's only five pounds this is how it applies it does go a little bit white like do you know what i mean like that kind of ashy look that i don't really like so that's why i've been staying away from it but like i said i thought i mentioned it it does go away a bit after when you really work it in but i don't know if this is a real spf because it says to apply an actual sun protection cream the next one is by bioderma i love this brand so so much um i've used their cleansing water and like their toners recently i've i don't know we've always used bioderma in the house um, I love their shower gel too. This is so nice. Um, they're like one litre shower gel. This is a sun mist. Very high protection. <laughs> I'm just reading what's on the front. Uh, it's good for sensitive skin. It's transparent and it's fresh. Very water resistant. So it's kind of like a spray on kind of SPF. And it says you don't need to spread, but I do because I can't just put it on me like that. You can apply this on a wet or dry skin, which is a plus. Uh, I think this covers both UVA and UVB rays. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed using this. Not so much for my face, to be honest, but I still use it. Like if I'm going on holiday, I'm going to have two of these in my luggage because it is so moisturizing, gives a nice like moisturized oily kind of effect to your body um it's just so nice so easy to apply and yeah it's more on the oily side like but i don't know i just really love it guys i don't know if it'll be good for oily oily skin for like the face but it does say if you want to if you want to use it on your face just spray it on your hand and then just like apply it but I feel like this is a better product for your body and I'm so so bad when it comes to applying SPF on my body so I've been using this on my body less less frequently on my face to be honest because I have all the others but it can be used on the face if you want to but it's amazing for the body it's just so easy um it, it's just like super transparent and it's just so easy to apply but again I can't wear this on its own if I, I do have it on my face I need my moisturizer on top because it has that like funny I don't know that funny oily silicone texture again but it's not as bad as the uh, Shiseido one but I still recommend this especially if you're going to use it on holiday on on, um, on your body I really like this one now I do want to mention one that was a huge fail but I thought I'd try it because it was only two pounds it's from Primark it does say it's SPF 50 it's UVA ultra I don't know five stars but it's like so white 
it's like almost like sunblock and that's not what I want do you know what I mean like what this is what we want to prevent you don't want to go out this house looking like that and like the more you work it in the more ashy it becomes it's not that bad but trust me i wouldn't be happy just applying this and going out like it just looks like i'm on a beach and i've gone red and i need to protect my skin which is not a bad thing but we're trying to prevent ashiness here and we don't want this it's there if you guys want to try it but it's not for me but yeah i think that's all for spf today it's definitely something really important that you need to wear every single day even when there's no sun out okay do you guys wear spf let me know did you ever think that because you're brown you don't need to wear spf because i used to think now i thought oh i'm brown i don't need no spf but you actually do need it if there's one in particular that you like let me know in the comments below because i'd love to try it but i definitely have to say that these three are my fave ever so the body shop the nux one and the helio care and all of them are really good with just applying beautifully protecting your skin and not making you look like elephant knees very gray very ashy old guy anyways thank you guys so much for watching give it a big thumbs up before you go and i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one